The next morning, I brought Joan up to date on the situation at the plant. Well, you were right about the robots. Uh, our sales are down. Our costs are way up. And our inventory is just right through the roof. And I, I just don't know what to do about it. I would really like to be able to help you, Alex. But the trade, you know, I haven't got very much time. I can give you a few basic concepts. And then I think you'll be able to work your solutions for yourself. I don't think you understand. I, I only have three months. Three months? Ah! Murder than ours, if you're diligent and you keep an open mind. Okay. All right, well, I, I thought we might start uh, with the robots. The robots? Yeah, forget about the robots. Yes, there are much more fundamental issues here. Tell me this. Why, with all your firm's wonderfully efficient technology, does everything run so slowly? Why? Why do you have so many back orders? I, I think it's because we're maxed out. I mean, we don't have enough personnel, enough capacity. But didn't you say that your inventories were going through the roof? Yeah. The only way that you can have excess inventory is with excess capacity. Well, then why do you think everything's moving so slowly? Because you haven't learned how to manage the capacity you have. You're thinking in isolation. You're measuring the efficiencies of this machine with this machine, this machine. Those efficiencies, they tell you nothing. What do you mean to tell me nothing? They tell you nothing about the overall productivity of the plant. Now, this is your plan. To create a product, material must pass through a series of processes. Work cannot start on any one process until the previous process is finished. Now, if each process has the capacity to produce an average of 10 parts in an hour, how many finished pieces will the plant produce? Uh, 10 parts an hour, obviously. Never. The plant can never produce 10 parts in an hour. Never. What does an average of 10 parts in an hour mean? Well, it means um, some hours you're going to have 11. In some hours you'll have uh, eight or nine. The time it takes for each machine fluctuates an average of five minutes. It could mean three minutes. And it could mean a half an hour. Yep, right. But, but doesn't it all just average out in the end? In isolation, yes, but in combination now. Think about how each process affects the other. Excuse me, Jonah, we're late. Oh, yes, Lord, I'm so sorry, Alex. I have to go. Uh, well, uh, what, what do I do now? Just think about what I told you. Uh, and then what? And then, look for your bottleneck. My what? Your bottleneck. Look for it. Okay. So take care. All right. Goodbye. All right, thank you. Thanks, John. <laughs> I needed answers, and I got riddles. But at least I got home for dinner, for a change. Got tired of waiting, went out. Dad! Dad, wake oh. up! Huh? We're gonna be late for the hike. What hike? The hike to the ledges. You sang from to you. Mm. Remember? Yeah. What time is it? 7.30. What are you doing sleeping down here? Oh. Uh, I was waiting for your mom to come home. She's mm. upstairs sleeping. Come on, we're going to be late. Yeah, okay. Let me get some clothes on. Well. Hey, look. All right, let's go. Hi, Dave. Hey, guys. Hi. So, uh, where's Mr. Bendel? Couldn't make it. How come? He's sick. Hemorrhoids. Good thing you came, Mr. Rogo. We better get going. Yeah. Um, does anybody know where we're going? Um, here's the map. The trail starts over there. Oh. Well, um, let's, let's gather around and try to figure out where we're going, huh? Yeah. Okay. We just start here, because we're right here. All right. It was a 10-mile hike. I figured that ought to take us five hours. No problem. I started thinking about what Jonas said. It still didn't make much sense. If 
a piece had to go through five machines and each one averaged 10 pieces an hour, then every hour we'd finish 10 pieces. It was common sense. But Jonas said no. Why? Well, Dad? What, son? Can we stop and light up? They're going to prep our back. Hey, come on, guys. Come on, everybody. Let's stay together. Come on, hustle up, guys. Hey, Ron, why don't you take the lead, okay? okay. Keep a nice, easy pace. Everybody, let's try to stay up with Ron, okay? Come on, guys, hustle up. What's your name? Herbie. You okay, Herbie? No problem, Mr. Rogo. I can take it. Okay, back to Jonah. Now, what is it about machines working in combination that would slow them down? I mean, if on average, we each hike two miles an hour, then we should all get two miles every hour, right? Hey, Mr. Rocco? Yes. Can we please take a break? Yeah, sure. <sighs> Ron! Hold up! Guys, come on, Herbie, hustle up. Hey, hold up, Ron. Come on, guys. Come on, Herbie, hustle up. Ron, I, I thought I said a nice, easy pace. That's what I'm doing. Okay, look, guys, we've really got to try to stay together, okay? Take five. Hang on. We've been hiking over two hours, and we hadn't gone two miles. What was the deal? Uh, okay, guys, look, we've really got to try to make an effort to pick up the pace a little bit, okay? We've got to try to stay together. Come on, break's over. we got a long way to go. Come on, let's get moving. We hadn't gone a hundred yards before the gaps started to appear again. But this time Ron wasn't going too fast. He was going the same rate as everybody else. And Herbie was doing his best. So why were the kids still falling behind? Then it hit me. Whenever one kid slowed down, it slowed down all the kids behind him. And when he sped up again, it created a gap. The slowdowns got passed on to the entire group it didn't matter how fast the kid in the front could hike. He'd only end up having to wait longer for the rest of us to catch up. Which meant that the group as a whole could never move any faster than the slowest hiker. Herbie. The bottleneck. Hey guys, hold up! Hold up! Come on guys. Okay, look guys. I have an idea. From here on in, Herbie is going to be our leader. <gasps> no, you can't do this. Well, he's the slowest. With him leading us, we'll never get there. No, but the point of the hike is not to see who gets there the fastest. Yeah. It's for all of us to get there together. We're a team, okay? But the hike's not over until we all get there. Okay, you take the lead. And so, off we went. Whenever a gap appeared, the kid in the back had enough reserve to catch up. We all stayed together. Only one flop. Hey, Hamster, I'm falling asleep back here. Can you speed it up a little? Come on, Mr. Rogo. This isn't going to work. We're never going to get there at this rate. Look, if you want us to get there faster, we're all going to have to figure out a way to help Herbie get there faster. Hey, Herbie! What's in your backpack? None of your bees left. Hold up. Hold up, guys. Herbie, let me see what's in your pack. Joe, what is in this thing? Just some stuff. So what were you thinking here? I just want to be prepared. <laughs> okay. Look, if we're going to go any faster, we're going to all have to help Herbie, okay? Uh, Come on, everybody take one thing. How's that? Much better. All right, troop, forward march. Well, after relieving Herbie of his pack, we covered the last four miles in just over two hours. What's more, I was beginning to get some clue about Jonah's riddle. The key to unleashing hidden resources was to find the bottleneck and do whatever you could to help it move faster. It worked with a bunch of Boy Scouts. But how was I going to make it work at the plant? 